Hey everyone, Peter here. This time I'm going to share with you the process of making the sunflower field in Blender. You might have noticed, I intentionally made this look like a flag of Ukraine. By doing so, I wanted to show my support to the country and condemn some events which are now happening. This is also my contribution to school project I'm currently helping with. As you see, I used already pre-modeled a set. This is not a modeling tutorial, so I will focus mainly on creating the actual scene. I duplicated the model, changed it slightly and made three variations. At first I quickly copied the sunflowers, but when my viewport started freezing, I realized this scene will need some optimization. I obviously overestimated my computer a little bit. But regardless of your hardware, it's really smart to optimize any scene. It will boost your performance and supposedly reduce the size of your file. I started decreasing the unnecessary poly count by using decimate modifier, especially on distant objects. This way I kept a decent frame rate without excessively losing details. There are multiple ways to create this field. An alternative could be by using particle system which would probably give you more control afterwards if you decided to tweak details, randomize position, size and so on. But I simply decided to do this quickly by hand. You can copy modifier to other objects by selecting target objects first, then select the object with the modifier you want to copy, pressing Ctrl L shortcuts and choosing link modifiers. This way you can transfer data across all objects. It can be modifiers, materials, animation data and so on. But remember, the object which already has the modifier or the data you want to transfer needs to be selected last. I randomize color a little bit so that every sunflower doesn't look the same. You can automate this, for example, by using object info node. I've been mentioning this in one of my older videos. If you utilize this random feature, you can put specific colors into color ramp and the node also takes into consideration the ratio and the prevalence of the colors. For example, if you have multiple color stops with similar colors that occupy most of your color ramp and only one stop in completely different color, from all those duplicated objects only a fraction is going to have that rare color and the majority will be colored with the most prevalent colors. I hope I explained this well. I eventually did this manually because I had joined sunflowers into groups and this way I would get color variation not per object but per whole groups, like the group would be one object in this case. And of course the result would look weird. Hmm, I didn't think ahead, my mistake. So I duplicated material and made three variations, selected some sunflowers manually and applied these new materials accordingly. By the way, you can speed up the selection while in edit mode by moving cursor over the part you want to select and pressing L. This way you can select all elements of the object. I put my rendered files into After Effects, tweak some details, colors, applied blur mask to objects in front, and this is the final result. If you like it guys, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing my channel. And one of the most important thing is, don't forget to support Ukraine. Stay strong and hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.